too. I got my P30L John Wick long boy that I'm reviewing. Now I'm gonna say why I picked John Wick's gun. I took it from him, the P30L HK for duty. The That's good. Left hand, one handed. And that was perfect function with mixed hollow points. Whoa! Bang, bang! I'm looking, I'm scanning, I'm walking around on my five yard line. Shoot snap! Drop the knife! Don't make me do it! Look out, drop it! Drop the gun! Hi everybody, Dan the Wolfman here. Armed guard, been through SWAT school last year. Combatter is a street jiu-jitsu instructor on BJJ Fanatics. I have four black belts. Highly suggest you get the DVD on BJJ Fanatics. It's off in sales. Go check it out. I just made a video on why I pick the Dara level two retention holster for my job or duty. And uh, now I'm gonna say why I picked John Wick's gun. I took it from him, the P30L HK for duty. The reason why is number one, it's just a cool pistol and this gives me a good excuse to carry it a lot and shoot it a lot. Um, but there's a lot of reasons. It's four and a half inch long uh, barrel that's polygonal. If you didn't know, polygonal barrels give you higher velocity. Okay, this is a very heavy duty pistol. Even the regular P30 and all HKs are. A regular P30 went through, I think, 83, 82,000 rounds before a part failure and then still fired to like 93, 94,000 rounds. Uh, HKs are designed to be the most reliable pistol. Yeah, not the other one everyone talks about that has no ergos, but HKs are designed to be the most reliable gotten you know military contracts and this and that uh also if you neglect cleaning and lubing them if certain pistols if you don't lube them every three months you're gonna cause have problems so for duty what if my life gets really busy and i don't shoot for a while or something happens hk is gonna run the first one ran i think 2,000 rounds or 1,200 rounds before any cleaning, any uh, like for, ridiculous. Look at the tests. Um, and the other main reason, besides it's very ergo, the, the, the Batman grips, the other main reason is besides the high velocity, I talked about the barrel length, this is designed for a lot of recoil mitigation. All HKs really don't recoil a lot. I don't care what you say about poor access, the way they design um, the recoil springs, especially in this version. So this version even has a dampening spacer put in it. So it even has more recoil absorption properties than the regular P30. The longer barrel 4.45 inches instead of 3.85 inches is going to get me really great velocity. And because of that recoil ability, is that a word? The recoil ability of this pistol, I can use, oh, sweet, sweet, plus P plus loads. And the durability, it's not gonna do anything for me to fire a few every now and then through this bad boy, okay? But plus P plus loads, I'm looking at 1370, 1375, hopefully somewhere in there. That's almost 357 Magnum velocity. Okay, the old Remington loads that did very well were about 1430, maybe less from a four inch uh, barrel, depending on which maker. Um, so I'm getting that with 17 plus one in it of almost 357 Magnum ability. All right, let's see what I can do against these bad guys here and one wearing body armor. And here we go. See how I did. I gave myself something very difficult because I moved offline while drawing, shooting from the car position first multiple times before extension, going for headshots while moving, breaking right, 
that I have a video on from the modified car position. Let's look at my headshots. One, two, three, four, five, six headshots. I started at seven yards and then moved back to about nine probably. So one, two, three, four, five, six with the XS R3D night sights with a bright orange front. That's my favorite. So I took care of this guy. Now let's look at this guy. I'm showing something about realism and movement too. One A zone, that's breaking the line. Let's call it A zone, B zone right there. Uh, rules lawyer, I don't know, but those are good upper thoracic hits. One down here, maybe nick the lung, B zone. And unfortunately one down there, but actually that would be uh, the liver. So maybe I get a little luck on this guy, four to him. Now over here, I'm not as happy about. So because I was moving right, I guess I overswung left. Or when the trigger broke, that's why you got to practice moving and shooting. One A zone, one B zone. Down here, three, four brachial plexus arm, but maybe his arm wouldn't have been there. That ain't great. And one here in the elbow. Your eyes naturally go towards the gun hand. Most people are right-handed. But those could have lawyers attached to them, so that's not awesome. Now. If I'm standing there at seven yards and then all of a sudden guys break in or he pulls a gun as these two come through the door, I got to be able to move. But I made all hits, no misses, though these two were really questionable, admittedly. What I'm most impressed is I made those headshots while moving off the center at seven yards from car position before then backing up and going uh, full extension, probably like nine-ish yards. Anyway, guys, that's one reason I picked the P30L. For duty or work. And All right, I just did 15 rounds on three bad guys, including a headshot on the body armor bad guy while moving. So I fired 15 rounds so far. Now let me try from 11 yards. That was seven on nine-ish yards. Now from 11 yards, let's see if I can hit three headshots. My P30L is the DASA. That first DA pull is particularly hard for me. I pull high left. I want to see if I can do it. I don't have a red dot. I don't have an LEM like that, uh, you know, John guy. Let's see if John could do what I did earlier. And this, let's see, I don't know. Deep breaths from Sewell, and then safely reholster. Let's see if I made my hits. Made all three of those headshots, but they weren't as good as I would like, so I'm gonna try to run it again. So let's see, today I fired all of 18 rounds so far. Deep breaths from Sewell, safely reholster. Let's see if I'm in my hits. So I'm happier on my second run right there in the right eyeball. That's actually a little bit better, more centered. That DA pull is tricky, that first shot. But better on this guy, much better. I'll take that hit over that. I mean, I don't know, about the same maybe because that's the temple at an angle. So it would have buried because I was at the angle. So um, pretty good there. And... Second time run is here. First time run is there on this guy. So I'm making it. John from Asp, can you do it? Could you do it without a red dot? Anyway, let me know down below what you think. Let's see if I can incorporate some CQB hand-to-hand -hand skills into firearms. Says uh, the guy on the right has a knife. So we're just going to use the targets that are up in transitions and whatnot. Talking from the fence. Or uh, interview position, hand Sewell. I like to come back here and be out here to everything I teach you in my combative DVD. Hey, sir, I'm sorry. I don't really know why. I just been told that uh, you got to leave. I'm sorry, but you have to leave or you're trespassing. Sir, please leave. Ah! Alright, let's see if I made my hits. Well, knifer's down. 
Knifer's down a little low. I wish it was a little bit higher, but I am moving backwards. I'm moving after doing a dog catcher jaws and snapping his elbow. Uh, but maybe he still had the knife in his hand. And then let's just use this for transitioning and scooting back and moving from a platform. Very nice tee box headshot there and a nice tee box, maybe just a half an inch low there. So anyway, guys, stay safe and get my commands of Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. Four and a half hours long, highly rated and will keep you safe. All right, Paul here. Well, I haven't done any two-shot drills, so I'm going to do that uh, left, right, five yards, and I hopefully I remember to move back to seven and see how much worse they are. I need to work on that D8 SA transition. It's not unusual for me to over-muscle and that second shot to drop a bit low. Um, so let's see. Let's see how I do. I got targets left and right. Hopefully you can see some of the recoil uh, control from there. First shot, I went left a little on that guy. Let me see uh, our hits. So this is from five yards to A zone. That's not bad. Second attempt, first one A zone. The second one dropped a little too low. That's what you know. I need to work on. That's why you do a two shot or even a three shot drill. Uh, let me do this again. And now it's seven yards. From drawing makes it a little more difficult. Maybe I'm just relaxing here. Yeah, right. That was more like a controlled pair. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's see how I did. So, two A zone there on this guy from seven yards this time. So that's good. One, two, one, two, something like that, I think. And then uh, on this guy, it looks like these were the two. So that's a B zone, but high upper thoracic. That's an A zone, upper thoracic. So that's not that far. That's pretty good. Now, obviously, if I was special forces, if I was on a SWAT team, I'd be shooting a lot more rounds and really getting this down if I was using a DA pistol. But that's not bad, and that's how you do the two-shot drill. All right, next, instead of doing a two reload, two drill, I'm going to do a fast five on the guy on the left, reload, emergency reload, slide lock reload, and do a fast five on the right. Now, usually I say five yards for this one. I'm going to do it at seven just because I'm curious with my shot entropy is, okay? And it might look cool to see the recoil before we see the hits and all that. <sighs> Let's check our hits. So here's five shots, all very close, less than two inches apart, I think. Uh, I believe one of those is maybe tape that fell off. So let's call those four in this five, unless if this fell off. But more than likely, four there, A zone, upper thoracic, even that's breaking the line. And then upper thoracic, good left long heart area there. And on this guy, I got two A zone, upper thoracic, two a little bit low. Uh, right there, but those are really good hits basically covered by a fist and one over there C zone uh, I think that's probably the first shot right after I didn't have uh, steady ground after my reload and trying to move while you're reloading Okay, so anyway guys that was a five reload five drill. I guess hope you enjoy it get down there in the comments Let's see some nasty dirty steel case will run while doing a SWAT walk a modified car walk But instead of just one target moving forward like I've shown before I'm gonna go diagonally against two like 10 yards coming in. See if she runs. All right, let's check her hits. So not the best, decent one, two, three, upper thoracic, four long, five over there, not so bad, but one over here, 
uh, kind of a nick. Oh, one down low in the Glock, disabling that Glock too. So that's pretty low. There's my headshot at the end, but of course I was like three yards away at that point probably. And uh, over here, better. One, two, three, four, five. Five on the bad guy and headshot. So there we go. Let me know what you think. Everybody, hopefully you've liked the video and enjoyed it and see why I think the HKP30L is a good choice for law enforcement and duty work. And I want to thank Targets Online. For the Targets, you can use code Dan the Wolfman, get a discount. Excess R3D, Excess Night Sights, your first order. Use code Dan the Wolfman, get 10% off. And uh, look at Dara Holsters for this level two retention holster. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think I made a good choice of pistols to use for duty? HK, how about sending me a hat, yo? Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody.